Oh, lovely. Alright, I guess you got to choose for this. So I am a little sad. Yes. Lost the last ranked battle because I went up against bloody orcs. I hate orcs. Thing here. Cool. All right. Awesome. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Just had. It was clearly a life or death tax. Well, a life or death tax message. Otherwise, I would have never done it in the middle of recording. Any, with that aside, let's get back to the battle. We're going up against a Chaos player, so I know that there'll be some civility to this battle. Over the nonsense since I had to go through in the last one against the Orcs. God, I hate the Orcs. Very much how much I hate the Orcs. The Orcs have heavy, heavily resilient ships, so the best way to take them out is with macro batteries, and I just only had Lance batteries that just slowly picked away at them. I didn't have enough power to hold them back. Well, maybe I made a tactical... What? What is this? Does he have, like, a carrier... A carrier group or something? He has a carrier group. For the Dark Gods! Executing high energy turn. Your orders. We have sighted an enemy ship. We'll follow your command for now. Command me. For the ruinous powers. Alright, it was mighty kind of him to feed me his little ships here. Just gonna quickly take them out before engaging the rest of his fleet. Adjusting rotation. Command me. We'll follow your command for now. Just show us something to kill. Set engines to full ahead. You know, it, it's actually a valid tactic to use like a disruption Just bomb on a enemy what? An enemy time bomb like that because Ready the disruption enemy. bomb will actually destroy the time bomb. That's a little expensive trade off or so, so like literally unless it's going to like, um, what? Really ruin your plan to really recommend doing it, but it can get you out of a, a tight fix. Ready eternally. Switch to silent running. Alright, so now with his suicide frigates out of the way, it's now time to deal with the rest of his fleet. Seems he has a carrier force and like to use escorts as I, I don't know scouts or something. Uh, you're gonna be an annoying prick like that, huh? Break them in mind and body. Just show us something to kill. I see you. Cruising speed set. Setting course. Your orders. For the ruinous powers. They've spotted me. Setting course. For the 
Did he just capulate? Oh boy. This might be the swing swing compatible level because after capulating, I think he's just going to surrender. Victory, victory is of mine. Ha 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 ha. I feel like this is gonna happen for the most part if uh, the first round is very one-sided. Like he had no chance of winning. It looked like he was heavily dependent on using his escort as um, type of armored recon while he would bomb me from afar. The thing about it is that he, I don't think he fully upgraded his squadron leaders or so, and because of that his bombers just did not have the the firepower necessary to do a huge amount of damage and that is what caused him to lose so horribly because even in the end of so, even if the battle continued, he would never be able to recover from the loss of his escorts as well as the fact that he had a half health heavy carrier and whatnot. so it was a very one-sided battle for the most part as my maneuvering or so as well as his um, reluctance to use um, higher squadron level um, squadron leaders or so to give his bombers that extra push that they necessarily needed in order to win the battle. I feel like that all contributed to my overall success. Anyway, yeah, I'll conclude this video here and I'll catch you guys next time.